Hi guys, Andy here and welcome back to another video. In this one I want to show you my cork bark elm bonsai tree and today he needs a bit of a trim to be honest with you. Um, I've not trimmed it at all this season, it's grown a lot and it's shading out some of the inner branches and uh, quite frankly it needs a bit of TLC. So a cork bark elm is called that uh, self-explanatory really the the bark on the tree uh, uh, gets very gnarled and uh, a lot thicker than a normal elm tree and it really does create a sense of age with these trees and they do have the most beautiful bark and this uh, one does tend to grow moss up the uh, the trunk as well and I quite like that so I I just leave the moss on there because I think it really adds to the sense of age of the plant as well so um, I've had this uh, plant for probably about eight eight to ten years something like that maybe a few years less maybe seven I actually got it in Cornwall when I was there on holiday uh, with my wife and she surprised me with a trip to a, a beautiful bonsai uh, Japanese gardens, uh, beautiful Japanese gardens and they had a bonsai shop there with some really beautiful um, bonsai specimens and this was there and I must admit I wouldn't normally have bought a bonsai tree as a souvenir of a holiday but these are getting harder and harder to get hold of now. I'm not sure whether you're allowed to import them um, a, through, from China or Japan now but something to do with the bark and potential pests and diseases so I don't know what the situation is but I understand that they're harder and harder to get hold of um, so you know it was one of those opportunities that I didn't want to miss so I bought this and every time I look at it and enjoy it uh, it reminds me of a really uh, enjoyable holiday with my wife in Cornwall so um, yeah let's get it over to the bench and give it a bit of a haircut and uh, hopefully get it, getting it uh, looking a little bit neater all right let's go so here we have it on the bench and all I'm going to do here is just go through the foliage and bring each branch back down to one or two leaves basically uh, they tend to grow out long um, and if you cut them back it will stimulate new growth and it should be denser and closer to the tree that's the idea of doing this so it's quite straightforward you just take each branch and clip a piece out like that and you just work your way around the plant just taking it back to two or three leaf nodes. If you've got a, a bonsai tree of your own, this is something you can do quite simply. If you've got long extended growth like this, just clipping them back as you go along will neaten up the look of the plant, stimulate fresher growth and make a happier, happier and healthier bonsai tree. Now I must admit this is overdue a cut there's a lot of growth on here that is leggy but it's quite an enjoyable thing to do actually it's quite therapeutic all a little bit zen if you know what I mean it's a simple task that doesn't need that much thought but it's enough to keep your mind focused without thoughts rushing in as you're doing it. So it is good, a sort of meditative practice and it's quite relaxing doing it. And that's kind of the whole philosophy, isn't it? Of meditation to give yourself some, some, basic thing for your mind to latch on to so it doesn't run away with itself with a million thoughts but at the same time being able to relax the mind and body so I really do enjoy the time I have with my bonsai trees just looking after them and pruning them it gets gives me the chance as well to appreciate them again because you know day to day over the years it's easy to ignore them and uh take them for granted so it's a nice thing to be able to do I 
There's some slightly thicker branches here. I'm just going to use my secateurs to bring them down a little bit, just so I don't damage the blades on this one. That's quite um, thin blades on these little pincers. I do have some stainless steel um, sharp bonsai scissors, but they're not in the podging shed at the moment, and I don't really want to go through the rain to go and grab them. So <laughs> this is what I'm using at the moment, and they're nice and sharp, so it's not a problem at all. So that's all we're doing, just going through the foliage nice and simply bringing it back, which will stimulate it in turn and give us a much denser, bushier look to the plant. I keep all my bonsai trees outside. I know you sometimes see bonsai trees advertised as indoor or outdoor trees. Reality is they will all do better outside unless you live in an area of the world that gets incredibly cold in the winter. I mean, in here in the UK, we get snow. All of my trees have been under snow several times. This has be probably been under a foot of snow in the past. It's still okay. They're used to seasons. Trees in the, in the wild are used to getting snow on them. They're not as uh, delicate as you might think, and they're probably more likely to thrive in, in the humidity of the outside environment they would compared to the dry um, environment of our homes. So that's what I've got to say about that. I know a lot of people like the idea of having bonsais to keep on their windowsill. They do not do very well on windowsills, I'm afraid. They just don't. It gets too hot for them. It's scorching sun most of the time. Uh, if you have a desk with some filtered indirect sunlight, you might be able to, if you sprayed it on a daily basis, a couple of times a day, but still, it would tolerate, but it wouldn't thrive, if you see what I mean. Now doing this may open up some gaps in the foliage but that's okay because it will stimulate new growth to take up the gaps. Some older branches that have died back here, so I'm just clearing them out the way as well. And this will let light into the plants, into the uh, into the branches, so um, it will, you know, spur growth further back inside the plant once again. So it's not being crowded out because otherwise if you leave them alone they just get longer and longer and bushier and bushier and leggier and leggier and they'll lose the nice compact shape of the of the plant i'm not a bonsai expert by any uh, by any stretch of the imagination i'm an enthusiast i've been keeping them for probably about 15 years something like that I certainly wouldn't say that I'm particularly talented uh, in the art of bonsai keeping but I do enjoy it and um, I probably have about 10 to 15 different bonsai trees something like that in my collection of various different sizes I'm just going to tidy up the soil here a little bit. If there's any weeds growing in the soil, I'm just going to remove that, any debris, just to make it look a bit neater. That's all we're going to do here. And there we have it. Just, I could take it further back, but for now that's made it a lot neater and uh, I'll wait for the back budding and the regrowth to thicken up and then I can take some of those other shoots just a little bit further back. But that'll do for now. I just thought I would share with you my cork bark elm and show you what I do just to do some general maintenance and to keep it tidy. I hope you've enjoyed the video 
Um, give me a thumbs up if you have. Subscribe if you're new around here for plenty of more houseplant and bonsai videos. And uh, I will catch you very soon on the very next video. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.